Paul Klee, artist and educator, was born on December 18, 1879. Paul Klee did not only identify his art with one artistic movement, he was part of Cubism, Surrealism, and Expressionism. He taught at Bahua's most influential modernist art school in the 20th century. Klee believed that there was more than just material world we lived in. Influenced by both his parents, Paul Klee was a great musician. He played the violin. Klee's father was a music teacher and influenced Klee a lot. Klee was a musician for a very long time and he liked to mix both his musical life and artistic life. He often compared the both and even played the violin before he would start painting. In his teen years is when Klee started getting more interested into visual art. During World War I, Paul Klee had lost a few friends and he made art in response to that. The picture shown here Death for the Idea is one of the art pieces he did in response to that. He also joined the German army in 1916. Klee taught at the Bauhaus from 1921 to 1931. He then taught at Dusseldorf Academy in 1931, but after two years he was fired due to Nazi rules. Then his family fled to Switzerland at that point in his life. He was at his best with his artwork. He had made many pieces of artwork at that time. In 1927 to 1930, Germany had a huge economic downfall. After World War I, Germany fell into a depression. Germany tried making many projects such as social spending to fight unemployment after World War I. They were running out of materials. In this picture, you can see people lined up to buy the last few items still left. Germany was at a very bad place in this time and very weak. Some may say their lowest point. This is when Hitler stepped in. Klee had many tactics and ideas for art. One thing he was known for was he had no boundaries with words and visual art. In this artwork, you can see how he uses poetry in one of his art pieces. Klee was very inspired by poems. This art piece is Beginning of a Poem, 1926. Klee was very inspired by children's art. He believed it was so simple yet said so much and brought in so much emotion and dreamlike pictures and situations. Klee made simple paintings but he used colors in ways that have not been used before. His colors represented his emotions. These are two great examples shown on how Klee used colors. On the left, red balloon, and on the right, park near Lou. Bounds of an Intellect, 1927, by Paul Klee. The colors in the pictures are all dulled out. On the top right and left corner, there's a dull blue shade, and on the top middle area, there is a dulled out orange color. In the middle of that orange shading, is a toned down red circle with a blur of navy blue under it. There are ladder like lines coming out of the circle going down. More lines start to show up. He has many diagonal and vertical lines at the bottom of his painting almost as if forming a facial figure. The lines are dark red and a dark blue. On the bottom left and bottom right corner, there's a dull orange shading. He uses the secondary color, orange, and he uses shades of it. He also uses tints and shades of the primary color, blue. He uses a complementary color scheme. He uses many geometric lines on the bottom half of his painting, while the top half hardly has any shown lines. He overlaps many of the geometric lines on the bottom right corner. Iconography Klee uses a mixture of the tints and shades of red, orange, and blue. Paul had said that a great way to express emotions was color. He uses both warm and cold colors. The color blue has signified sadness and depression. The color orange and red represent warmth and loving, caring feelings. 
he might have been wanting to say he's in a happy medium. Psychoanalysis Paul Klee might have been trying to show how sometimes we are far yet so close to our intelligence and how it's always going to be a struggle and a climb to it. You see a face on the bottom half made up of all these different vertical and diagonal lines. Cultural Studies Paul Klee could have been inspired by his German culture. Germany has been shaped by major intellectual and popular currents in Europe. Germany, historically, has been called the country of poets and thinkers. This painting shows a lot of geometrical shapes and lines, but has a blur of colors and shading. This can show how intellect works at times. You have to be well-rounded in different areas and not just one straight from the book. Paul Klee has inspired me in artistic skills, artistic ideas, artistic tactics, but also he has inspired me for my own outside life. Never have I thought that putting letters onto a painting can be art and meaningful, but Paul Klee has opened my eyes to that possibility and I have tried it out in this painting that I have made. I made a childlike painting that I use colors like the color green that represents relaxation, the colors orange and yellow and in between colors of that that represent happiness and then the black that represents stress and deception. Paul inspired me to be able to do more than one thing with my life, to not have to stick to just one. This painting is a representation of my high school life where I was fighting myself with either sticking to violin or soccer and I was doing both for a while, which is this representation of this painting. I was doing both and I was at a happy, relaxed state, but it had put a lot of controversy with my coaches and my family. I have distorted a violin and I put the different parts around into this painting. I have the strings, the meg, the tuners, and the F home. I also have the positions played in soccer from bottom to top and the green splatters that I put represent relaxation I had when I was outdoor playing soccer. The black on the surroundings around it, the rough edges of black represent all the negative around me that I felt when I made the decisions of staying in both and having a passion for both. All art is a memory of age-old things, dark things, whose fragments live on in the artist. Paul Klee Paul Klee makes poetry, music, and art all at the same time. He wanted to show art with memories, but adding emotions and depth into our just material world.